Are you going to do your PhD in chemistry? Watch this video till the end. Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to talk about various research topics that you can choose if you are going to do your PhD in chemistry. So in today's video, I'll give you about many things. First, we will talk about the various branches of chem chem chemistry. We'll talk about the basic branches of chemistry. Then we will talk about the derived branches of chemistry. Then I will give you a basic topics that you can take up if you are doing your BSc in chem chemistry. Then I will tell you about the topics that you can take up if you are doing your MSc or PhD in chemistry. Then in the next part of the video, I will tell you about the institutes from where you can do your PhD in chemistry. And in the last part, I will tell you about the basic journals, Scopus and SCI index journals that you can try to publish your papers. All of them are free. All of them are fast. So you can get your paper published in like two or three months. So it is very important that you watch this video till the end. Otherwise, you will miss many important things. So let's get started. So when I talk about the basic branches of chemistry, the basic branches of chemistry includes or organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, analytical chem chemistry, physical chemistry and material chemistry. So first let's talk about the organic chemistry. So when we study about the structure, properties, composition, reaction and preparation of carbon containing compounds that we term as the organic chemistry. So top four organic molecules that you will basically work on are carbohydrates, the lipids, proteins and new nucleic acids. So if you are planning to do your PhD in organic chemistry, the basic things that you can work on are retrosynthesis, ash, Eschino Moser tube fragmentation, Barton reaction related things, aldol type reactions. So, be, so these are the basic topics that you can take up. The other branch of chemistry is inorganic chemistry. So basically an inorganic compound is a compound that lacks the carbon and hydrogen bond. The major inorganic compounds are water, biomolecular oxygen, carbon dioxide and some acid bases and salts. So some basic topics that you can work on if you are doing your PhD in inorganic chemistry are moss bear related topics. The third branch of chemistry is analytical chemistry. So basically analytical chemistry is the science of obtaining, processing, communicating information about the composition and structure of the matter. A basic example of this is what? In the forensic field, we have drugs that come in the form of various colored powders and you have to analyze them and find out their content. So that comes under the analytical chemistry. So basic topics that you can work on if you want to do your PhD in analytical chemistry are mass spectroscopy related, high per performance liquid chromatography and acid base mixture related. Now let's talk about the derived branches of chemistry. The first derived branch of chemistry is your physical chemistry. So in so when you study about the physical chem chemistry, so what you do, you study about the physics that is going on in the chemical interactions. One basic e example is to study the radiations that are coming from the distant stars. So we know in stars many type of chemical reactions are happening. So what kind of reactions and what kind of emit emittances come out of these stars that all comes under the physical chemistry. Some basic topics that you can work on while working in the physical chemistry branch are chem chemical kinetics, thermodynamics, spectroscopy, electrochemistry. The next derived branch of your chemistry comes as the name of material chemistry. So material chemistry is 
द सेक्शन वेयर वी कंबाइन द मटीरियल साइंस एंड केमिस्ट्री टू इन्वेस्टिगेट द केमिकल नेचर ऑफ द मटीरियल्स सो बेसिकली मटीरियल केमिस्ट्री इज द सेंथिस प्रोसेसिंग कैरेक्टराइजेशन अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड एक्सप्लोइटेशन ऑफ कंपाउंड दैट मे हैव यूजफुल और पोटेंशियली यूजफुल प्रॉपर्टीज एंड एप्लीकेशन कमिंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट डेराइव ब्रांच ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इज योर बायो इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री सो बायो इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इज दैट ब्रांच ऑफ केमिस्ट्री विच फोकसिस ऑन द बायो केमिस्ट्री of inorganic elements and compounds so two major components when you are doing your phd in your bio organic chemistry is bio inorganic chemistry is firstly you are going to study the naturally occurring bio inorganic compounds in our in our bio systems and the second thing is you are going to study about the introduction of these elements as probes or drugs into the biological systems and studying the models that be, that mimic the behavior of various metalloproteins so basically bio organic bio inorganic chemistry is that branch of life sciences that deals with the study of biological processes using chemical methods so the basic topics that you can choose when you are doing your phd in bio or in organic chemistry includes toxicity related to- topics oxygen transport protein activation related topics mer- the mer- the metals in medicine related topics carboxy peptides related topics so these all things that you can take up if you are doing your phd in bio inorganic chemistry the next branch of chemistry is your synthetic chemistry synthetic chemistry includes the fields of organic inorganic materials and even biological sciences when when we talk about what kind of things come under synthetic chemistry so we have the plastic products which are made from the poly- poly- polymers right so that thing comes under synthetic chemistry we have the elastomers which are your fl- which are your flexible rubber materials then we have the medicines then you have the artificial sweet sweeteners like stevia equal all these things all all these things come under all these things come under your synthetic chemistry the next branch of your chemistry is your computational chemistry so computational chemistry is that branch of chem- chemistry that uses computer simulations to assist in solving complex chemical problems so some basic areas can be like computational drug discovery molecular sy- systems engineering nano materials and design so so what happens that many industries use computational chemistry or computational techniques to derive innovations in your pharmaceutical drugs the next branch of your chem- chemistry is your textile chemistry so basically when we use the chemical techniques and processes to your textiles that becomes your textile chem- chemistry so once when you start working as a textile chemist your job profile will include to apply the fundamental knowledge and principles of chemistry to all types of textiles all lines of textiles like dyeing storage qual qual and quality maintenance some basic topics that you can take up if you are doing your phd in textile chemistry is new fibers wet processing applications of dyes coloration evaluation lab the next branch of your chemistry that you can take up is your pharmaceutical chemistry so this branch of chem- chemistry deals with the combination of chemistry and pharmacy 
so basically you do the research and development where you try to develop new drugs using chemical techniques basic topics that you can take up as a part of your phd in pharmaceutical chemistry is your drug discovery drug de development and pharmacokinetics another branch of chemistry that you can take up if you want to do your phd in chemistry is quantum chemistry so this branch of chemistry involves the applications of quantum mechanics to the molecules so you study about the energy and energy derivative properties using the wave function some basic topics that you can take up if you are doing your phd in quantum chemistry includes density functional theory and wave function so now we have discussed all the branches of chemistry and i have also given you some topics that you can take up now i will provide you some topics that you can take up if you are very beginner in research like at your level of your bsc in chemistry or msc in chemistry if you are very new you can take up these things these topics include the production of biodies syn gas production using rice husk determining level of heavy metals in effluents which is released from any pharmaceutical company then usage of non wood plant fibers in pulp and paper making then you can also work on comparison and st study of the parameters that you can get from still and running water then you can also work on the fermentation of fruits and vegetab vegetables so these were all the topics that you can take up in as a as a part of your basic research in your bsc or msc level now i will go ahead on some advanced to topics that you can take up during your msc level these topics include the first thing is your medicinal inorganic chemistry like you can work on those drugs which are used for the treatment of cancer then you can also work on your solid state batteries where you can work on lithium solid electrolytes so after covid we have all started to talk about our dis disinfectants so that can also be a good area of research to work upon you can research about the catalytic disinfectants that are used on air and surfaces another very good area of research is your green in synthesis green chemistry is similar to your sustainable chemistry which focuses on the design and products that may that minimize or just eliminate the use and generation of hazardous substances another area another very good area to work on is advancement of small molecule drugs for the clinical treatment of osteoporosis osteoporosis as we all know is a bone disease another very good area to work on is your nano pesticides Na nano pesticides are the nano structures which have their size be be between 1 to 200 nanometers which are used to carry agrochemical ingredients to control the weeds and enhance the yield of the crop so these were some of the mid level topics that you can take up now i will give you the list of quite advanced topics that you can take up if you are doing your phd in chemistry so just pause the screen take a screenshot and note down these topics so these are the topics that you can take up if you are doing your phd in chemistry so just pause the screen and take a screenshot now in the next part of the video we are going to talk about the various institutes from where you can do your phd if you are doing the phd in chemistry
द वेरी फर्स्ट इंस्टीट्यूट इज योर आई आई एस सी बैंगलोर ए देयर इफ यू विश टू डू योर पी एच डी द बेस्ट सब्जेक्ट दैट यू कैन टेक अप इज योर ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री देन यू हैव बी एच यू देयर यू कैन टेक द टॉपिक्स ऑफ मेडिसिनल केमिस्ट्री इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एंड बायो एंड बायो सेंसेस द थर्ड इंस्टीट्यूट इज योर इज योर टाटा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फंडामेंटल रिसर्च देयर इफ यू विश टू डू योर पी एच डी यू कैन टेक अप द टॉप टॉपिक्स ऑफ मटेरियल केमिस्ट्री बायो इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री सिंथेटिक केमिस्ट्री एंड कॉम्प्यूटेशनल केमिस्ट्री द नेक्स्ट इंस्टीट्यूट दैट वी हैव इज आई आई एस सी आर पुणे From there, you can take the subjects like organic chemistry, physical chemistry, and computational chemistry. Then you you can also take admission in Jadavpur University. There you will have the topics of inorganic chem chemistry, organic chemistry, and physical chemistry. Then we have the Indian Chemical Te- Technology Institute in Mumbai. there you can take the topics of textile chemistry and pharmaceutical chemistry similarly in iit guwahati you can take the topics of computational chemistry and quantum chemistry then you have a national sugar institute in kanpur where you can take the topics of organic and applied chemistry now in the next part of the video i am going to tell you about various journals that you can take up and which and publish your research articles in a short span of time so the first journal is your journal of science education and technology it is a scopus and scie indexed where you can publish your paper in 3 to 4 months the next journal is international journal of engineering science here again this is an scie index journal the next journal is your journal of indian chemical society this is an scopus and scie indexed where uh, where again you can publish your j uh, publish your paper in 2 to 3 months the next journal is your chemical data collections this is a scopus index journal based on chemistry the next journal is arabian journal of science and engineering this is a scopus and scie index journal which takes around 3 to 4 months to publish your paper The next journal is Sustainable Chemistry and Pharmacy. This is a Scopus and SCIE indexed journal. The next one is International Journal of Management, Science and Engineering Management. This takes this is a Scopus and ESCI indexed which takes around 3 to 4 months. then we have a journal by the name of science bulletin which is scopus and scie indexed so i hope this information would have been useful for you firstly we talked about the topics that you can take up if you are doing going to do your phd in chem chemistry then we talked about basic topics and advanced to- topics then we talked about institutes from where you can do your phd in chemistry if you want to along with the subjects and lastly we talked about the journals that you can take up if you want to do your phd in chemistry so i hope this information would have been useful for you if this has been do give it a like share it with those who are doing their phds in chemistry and if you have watched this video till the end do give a comment i have watched till the end and till the next week take care